All right. Welcome to the second video on unit conversions for your senior physics class. This is going to be a much shorter video than the last one because we only have to look at one objective. And that objective is converting multiple variable units using unit prefixes. Again, you've seen this before. Uh, I would have out my notes that I took from the last video. You can just continue those. Uh, and we're going to, again, just look at some quick examples. You'll do some work on your own, and that'll be it. And then you can finish this worksheet. Part three of your homework assignment has to do with uh, multiple variable units. And then you will be quizzed on a multiple variable, variable unit question on the first day when you come back. Okay? So, no need to recopy the table down. You have it already, but we will be using it. And so what we want to do first is look at an example of what happens when you have variables that are squared or cubed. Like we see here, how many square centimeters are there in 42 square meters? Okay, Just as we did last time, we're going to start out with what we know, which is 42 meters squared. You can choose to put that over 1 if you want. And then what we need to do is we need to go from meters to centimeters, and we're going to do that by looking at our table. Now, where do we see centi? It's the second one down right here. And we're going to be working with meters, so let me just fill this in right now. For every one meter, there is 100 centimeters. So we know that we're using this. So on the bottom should go meters, because we want to cancel out what's on the top and the bottom, and centimeters will go up here. Okay, so for every one meter, there is 100 centimeters. Perfect. Now we've got a problem, though. And the problem is, is that if you look here in the bottom, we have one meter, but in the top, we have a meter squared. There's no way that we can cancel out that meter with a meter squared, so what are we going to do? We have to do this conversion all over again. So I'm going to do it a second time. One meter in the bottom, 100 centimeters in the top. And what happens is if you look here, we've got two meters in the top, two meters in the bottom. So these two cancel this one out. And what we're left it with is in the top, we've got centimeters twice. Once there, once there. That will end up being centimeters squared. So all we have to do is simply multiply across the top. 42 times 100 times 100 a second time, and that should give us the correct answer of 420,000 centimeters squared. And we just got that by multiplying right across the top. Good. The next example is going to be our multivariable example. So if we look here, it says convert 24 meters per second into kilometers per hour. This one's going to be a little bit more involved. And the first thing that we want to do is where are we going to start? We're going to start with the 24 meters per second because that's what we know. But we're going to write it this way. We've got 24 meters in the top because that's the top unit all over one second because we have seconds in the bottom. So 24 meters over one second. Great. What we want to do is we want to end up with kilometers in the top and hours in the bottom. We don't have any of that right now. So the first thing that I'm going to deal with is I'm going to deal with the top right here. And I need to go from meters to kilometers. And I do that if I look at kilometers, that would be right here. Let me just fill this in. This would be meters and kilometers. Excellent. So meters and kilometers, and I'm going to go right here. Again, I'm going to put meters in the bottom and kilometers in the top. And for every 1,000 now meters, there is one kilometer. And I can go ahead and start to cancel things out right now. I know that these meters are going to cancel out, and it leaves me with kilometers in the top, which is exactly what I want. Good. Now I need to deal with 
the seconds. Because if you look here, what we have is we have kilometers in the top and seconds in the bottom. I don't want seconds in the bottom. I want hours in the bottom. So what am I going to do about it? I'm going to continue with what I was doing before. But now I'm going to put go from seconds to hours. And so since I have seconds in the bottom over here, I'm going to put seconds in the top. Okay. Seconds go nicely into minutes. So for every one minute, there are 60 seconds. Do you notice now I've got seconds in the top and seconds in the bottom that cancel out. But what that leaves me with now is minutes in the bottom. Okay. I don't want minutes in the bottom. I want hours in the bottom. And so now I need to go from minutes to hours. I'm running out of space here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole thing and drag it to the left a little bit, if it'll let me. Ignore what just happened. Drag it to the left, and that's going to give me the space that I need. The magic of the smart board. So now I'm going to go from minutes to hours. And so here, we're going to do for every, so we're going to put minutes in the bottom, and minutes in the top, and hours in the bottom. For every 60 minutes, there's one hour. And again, minutes can cancel out. So if you look here, what I've got is I've now got kilometers in the top and hours in the bottom. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm simply going to multiply across the top and then multiply across the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to take 24 times 60 and then times 60 again. And that gets you 86,400 kilometers in the top because that's the unit that's left over in the top. In the bottom... We just have 1,000 times 1 times 1 times 1. So this ends up being 1,000 hours in the bottom, because that's the unit that's left over in the bottom. And when you divide this out, we should get the correct answer, hopefully, 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 of 86.4 kilometers per hour, which is correct. Okay? So if that was confu confusing to you, go ahead, rewind this. And then, uh, it's an old term, you can tell how old I am. Go back to the beginning of this part, rewatch it again, um, just to make sure that you understood every step there. Okay, just like last time, there are three examples that I'd like you to try to work on your own. The last one is the most complicated. So go ahead, pause this video right now, copy these examples down, and go ahead and try to solve them out. It should take you about 15 minutes. Good. Okay, so I'm going to give you the answers to the first two right now. The first one is convert 18 kilograms per meter into grams per millimeter. It should work a lot like the example that we just did. And if you did this correctly, it actually works out to the exact same thing, only in grams per millimeter, 18 grams per millimeter. Next, how fast is 20 meters per second in kilometers per hour? That's exactly like the example we just did, except for with a different number. The correct answer here is 72 kilometers per hour. Okay. This last one I want to work out before we go ahead and show you the answer. And here what we're going to do is we're going to convert 15 grams over 1 centimeter squared. And I just kind of want to walk through what the method will be to do this. Now if we look here, we want to end up with kilograms on the top and meters squared in the bottom. So I like to work the top first. So I'm going to go from grams to kilograms. If you look back at your table, you'll see that there are 1,000 grams in every one kilogram. And that means that right now I can go ahead and cross out those grams, because what's in the top and the bottom crosses out. What I'm left with right now is grams in the top, centimeters squared in the bottom. I want meters squared in the bottom, so I'm going to keep going. In this case, I've got centimeters in the bottom, so I'm going to put centimeters in the top here. And I need to go to meters. If you look at the table, again, you'll see that for every one meter, there are 100 centimeters. 
Now, if you think back to the example that we did before, and you look right here, we see that we have one centimeter on the top, but we have two centimeters on the bottom. So what are we going to do? We need to show that same conversion a second time. With 100 centimeters on the top, and one meter in the bottom. Now, both of these centimeters will cross out both of these centimeters right there. And what we're left with is kilograms in the top and two meters in the bottom, which will turn into a meter squared. What you need to do now is simply multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, divide, and it should give you the correct answer of 150 kilograms per meter squared. Good. Again, if you have any questions, go back, watch this part again, attempt part three on that homework assignment. Remember that I'll be here a couple days over the summer if you have questions, and you can free, feel free to email me if something doesn't work out. Excellent. We'll see you at the beginning of the school year.